and welcome to another exciting episode of Football Face Off. In this week, Patrick and Joe are getting their big crystal balls out. Oh. Yours, are, yours are quite tiny though, I've heard. So. <laughs> No, no. Very small. Awkward. And we're going to be trying to predict who's going to win La Liga. Is it going to be... Barcelona. Or is it going to be... Real Madrid. Classic lineup. Just spat all over him. So, <laughs> probably leave that in, if anything. And it's the first round, the 32nd round. Yeah. Who lost last week? I believe it was you, after a shambolic performance. I From both of rounds. you. I won From two both rounds. of you. Last week was a disgrace, actually. Last week was a disgrace. Yeah. The people at home were right. It was a disgrace. Shower of shite. 30 seconds. <laughs> And why Real Madrid are going to win La Liga. Yeah. Starting now. I think Zinedine Zidane has really revitalised Real Madrid. There seems to be a really nice atmosphere at the club. Last season when he's, uh, he took over, oh. they averaged 2.73 points a game. That is a Lovely. massive total. In fact, if he had been uh, the manager of Real Madrid yeah. from the start, averaging yeah. the same amount of points, he'd have finished on 104. 13 points ahead of Barcelona. Luis Enrico is going to be feeling the pressure of Zidane's team. That's because he's actually built a team. He's not just gone out and signed Galacticos. The likes of Asensio have come in. He's got the best out of Casemiro. And you're doing the best out of Casemiro and the lovely atmosphere at the Bernabeu. And Patrick. Yes. 30 seconds Thank on why you. Barcelona are going to win the Liga starting now. Oh, Luis Enrique is a lot more proven than Zidane as a manager. He won the treble in his first season. There's no guarantee that Zidane can port his form from last season over to this season overall. They won the league last year and they've strengthened. They've added Andre Gomez, they've added Samuel Umtiti. Looks like they're going to add a forward as well. Really exciting times. This is a team that won the Champions League with Thomas Vermaelen in the squad. They've certainly upgraded on that. Look, they were terrible under Tata Martino. Enrique came in, won seven out of his first eight league games, and they've won the title and twice. And that's it. That is it. Strong arguments this week, lads. Well, Generous. Feels very, like very kind. close. Two very elite level teams. I, think, I thought you were going to say two very elite level presenters. I wouldn't well, go that far. Well, that's also true. Elite level teams and elite level debaters. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was the end of the 32nd round. Joe, with his argument about improving atmosphere. Zidane revitalised the club. And Patrick. I mean, Barcelona did win the league last year and they have strengthened. But it's not for me to decide. It's for you guys at home. Vote in the poll card, as always. Who won, Patrick or Joe? Pretty even this week, in my opinion. Mm. Balanced, like a, like a referee should be. OK, it's time for round two, the yeah. challenge round. Ooh, Ooh, excitement all round because they have to answer a question that the other one challenges them to. Ooh. Very simple concept. And Joe, you get to ask Pato your question first. Right, Patrick Van Straten coming your way, fireballs. How would they cope if Suarez, dash Messi, dash Neymar gets injured during a grueling, grueling season? Oh, okay. Okay, 45 seconds. <laughs> Starting now. I think you mean a slash, not dash there, just to be clear, punctuation talk. Uh, I think that if they lose one of those Ooh, players, it's not a huge Nazi. issue. They do, don't say Nazi, it's rude. They had Suarez missing when he first joined the club and they still won the treble that season. They had Messi missing for large sections of last season and they still won the league. The thing is, any one of that front line are good enough to carry the carry them to a league title. We've seen players like Eden Hazard carry a team to a league title. Any one of those guys can do it. It doesn't matter if one gets injured. And Luis Suarez has only missed two games since being at Barcelona. That is unbelievable. They're going to win the league. Okay. I, I don't know if that stat's real. I'm just trusting the script. Yeah, <laughs> cool. He's finished. Trusted the script. He's finished early. And he spent 10 seconds talking about Nazis and punctuation. Yeah, so if anything, added economical. value. Economical. Thank you. Yeah. Economical. So, uh, now, Joe, you face a question from Patrick. Have you got a question, Patrick? I apparently Thank do. God. Madrid have won two league titles in the last eight years. What makes this year different with an inexperienced, an inexperienced and indeed bald manager? Oh, bald I'm manager. I'm his appearance now. Don't have any of that Madrid fans in the comments. Oh, that's Thank not going to end well for you, I don't think. Don't really care. Okay, 45 seconds, right. starting now. You previously talked about Luis Enrique coming in in his first season and winning a treble, yet now you ask about inexperience when in his first six months, Zinedine Zidane led the team to a Champions League title. Not so already, already kind of... Uh, 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 of course, uh, Luis Enrique was shit at Roma as well. So is it better to be inexperienced? <laughs> is it better to be inexperienced or be experienced as a loser? Oh, a team like Luis Enrique was before he joined Barcelona. Also, they were very, very close last season under Zidane, just one point behind. Scored only about four or five less goals than than. Uh, 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 oh, which team so are we talking about? Personally, I think Madrid are going to run them really close this year and just nick it on the final day by a point as well. And he got through it. He got through it. Fuck! Ah, that was four, terrible. Forty-four seconds, but he did finish. He completed. 
Uh, okay. He does finish. He does finish. We've Normally, heard that multiple I reports. get to award a bonus here. Um, again, not an easy decision. That's because we're both pretty shit. Yeah. So your 20 second argument or your 45 second ramble? <laughs> Mine is strong. I, I think I'm going to go with Joe. Yeah. What? I'm going to go with Joe. That is unbelievable. Careful. Mine had full sentences. Remember what happened and... last week? All okay. right, all right. Shat his pants. Uh, that's a straight red. <laughs> that's a straight red. Get him off! Oh! Yeah, there it is. Don't, don't insult me. I'm not insulting. Don't let him. What do you mean you didn't insult me? There's a fucking. Oh! Whoa! Well, I think that might be a yellow, mate. He fucking slapped you, mate. Try your attention. Try Shut up. Trying to get another player booked. Double yourself. Is a toilet. booking. Booking for Patrick. That's an outrage. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that bullshit, though. I've awarded the bonus to Joe. 15 seconds I'm extra in the next round. Mm. Disgusting. So proud. How is he going to use it? No one knows. Badly. But it's up to you guys to decide at home who won that round. Was it Pato Barcelona. or was it Joe? Barca or Real Madrid? It's a tough call. It's a tough call. I'm glad you guys are making it. Okay, it's time for the final round. Someone say it's a mercy. Thank God I get to go home after this. It's the fan question round. You guys at home have been submitting your questions all week, and we have picked the best two. So, Patrick, yes. what is the fan question to Joe? Oh, well, this comes from Paulinho. Good name. It's Great good name. name. Yep, and he says, How will Madrid side cope if Casemiro gets injured as he's their only defensive midfielder? So, question, you it's have... A great one, Paulinho. One minute, Joe. Yeah. Can you fill it? No. Probably not. Off we go. That is a great question, and oh, this is a, a hole in Zinedine Zidane's system. However, Casemiro missed 15 games last season, and Real Madrid lost just twice in those 15 that he missed. Of course, Zinedine Zidane also has a plethora of other midfielders, so can change his system. Mm. He can bring Cruz slightly deeper. He's got Kovacic still at the club. He hasn't yet sold Hammers and Isco. And let's not forget, there's still three or four days left of the transfer window. Still plenty of time for Zinedine Zidane to bring in yet another defensive midfielder. If he can find one, he's brought back Asensio, he's brought back Morata. You never know whether he will sign a defensive midfielder towards the back end. If he can bring David Alaba in, they're going to have one of the best defensive midfielders in the world who can also play at left back. Very exciting not gonna for bring Madrid. Him in. So let's not worry too much about Casemiro's absence. He is a winner, of course, Casemiro, and a fantastic defensive midfielder. But there's plenty of systems to play, and Zinedine Zidane is good enough to get the best out of any of them. Ooh. Oh, I did. He, he did. He did well. He, he did, did the little thing at the, the end that makes it sound like you've done a thing. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's good. He's a professional. <laughs> uh, okay. Try my best. He's done well. You've done well there, mate. Uh, you have 45 seconds oh, to answer great. the following question. I from can't Joe. wait. This comes from Timmy Mallet 24 7, mm -hmm. big Timmy fan at home, who says Barcelona won the 2011 Champions League with 11 academy graduates. Ooh. That's what? 11. It's a lot. But now there are only Four guaranteed starters from La Masia. Have Barcelona lost their identity for all this success? It's a good question. Go on, you have 45 seconds. Game on. No, they absolutely have not. Look, they'd love to have a team full of academy graduates, and there are still players in this team. How many teams competing on the global scale can you say have more academy graduates in their first team than Barcelona? Real Madrid, how many do they have in their first team? Joe they doesn't know. Joe doesn't know. Not in the script. Not in the script. So he doesn't, doesn't have a clue. So look, Messi, Iniesta, Xavi, Pique, these were very special players. Because Xavi moved on, because he got old, does that mean that Barcelona have lost their identity? This is a fantastic thing that they've done. They've created an incredible academy. They introduced graduates from all over the world to the global game. La Masia is an icon. It's an incredible thing. And I really don't think that you can take a good thing and try and turn it into a bad thing just by doing a little cadence at the end of your sentence. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Nobody knows what cadence means. Doesn't matter though, Joe he, did, doesn't an, he know. did an impression of it, so, you know, works. Pathetic! My oh, my that's oh my god! That's my grammar! Shut oh. up! Shut, oh. shut up! I nearly dropped an F-bomb. <laughs> no one wants that. Pathetic. You're calling me pathetic? Yeah, I am. That is a red. Go on, Bab, get him. <laughs> oh. Yes! Get the fuck out, man! What's that? Yes! Go on! And then uh, and this week, you won't be able to vote for Joe in the final card. <laughs> so Patrick automatically wins. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Two votes for Patrick. That's it, mate. It's been good. Okay, it's been good. You oh, he's actually oh, broken you it. you smashed that up as he's well. He's actually broken it. You've actually, have actually broken it. Yeah. Other way around. Let's just carry on. That was an exciting finish. Didn't think it'd end that way. Uh, but it's up to you to decide who won at home. Was it Patrick or was it Patrick? 
Thank um, you. Vote in the card as always. Well, you got, you got to make the right off. decision. You got to send off. You can't call me really pathetic. Smart. Call me pathetic again, and I'll swap you out for someone else next week. That would be great. I'm a, a tub of lard will do it or something. That'd be better. Just put some subtitles on it. Okay, uh, we'll see you next week for another exciting football face-off. But what should they do next, Pato? Oh, they should check out Euro Football Daily. Mm. They should go over there and look at our top tens, our transfer reviews, and some of our Euro roundups. Great stuff. Wouldn't it be a surprise if one week you said not Euro Football Daily? That would be exciting. It, it would be amazing. Blow my mind. But it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. And Joe, what do you think they should do? Just click the subscribe button below for loads more brilliant shit. More brilliant shit More coming brilliant shit. right up on Football Daily. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. Scorchio. Yes.